and said, we've seen enough, buddy. You guys are getting promoted. So after spending the first game, they were the active call-ups from the practice squad for the game against the Raiders, but now they have been called up to the active roster. Both Anthony Levine, no cap, co-cap, is back. It's like we've been saying that for like the past like two, three years, but multiple times throughout the year. Anyway, and now Jelly, Justin Ellis. And he made a really nice play uh, on uh, Monday night, by the way. I forgot what he did, but I just remember saying, Jelly! But he's back. And in several corresponding moves on the practice squad to fill their spots, they brought back uh, offensive lineman Andre Smith, former first-round pick. And also they signed Kevin Seymour. They signed a cornerback. And um, so Andre Smith gives the Ravens a little more depth at offensive line. Uh, Cause you know it's, it's been a little bit rough there, and, and in the press of today, Harbaugh he uh he didn't really comment on it too much. And you know Harbaugh can be very vague with things. They say Ronnie Stanley didn't practice today, even though today was just a walkthrough. But still, Ronnie Stanley didn't practice, so that would uh give us a little tiny bit concern. But it's still super early in the week. You still got Thursday and still got Friday, so Friday really always tells the whole story. Just something to give y'all a heads up on uh, as we move forward through the season. Uh, especially when Ravens games are on Sundays. And this is really for any team. So even if you're not a fan of the Ravens, you can apply it to your team as well. If a player is not practicing on Monday or Tuesday, even Wednesday, if they're not practicing on Wednesday, it can cause a little alarm. But the real story is if they practice in full on Friday. Friday usually always lets you know if a player is going to play uh, that coming Sunday. Uh, so with Ronnie Stanley, it'll just be a wait and see type of thing. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, he spoke to the media today. Uh, and when I just, when I watched him, when I listened to him speak, he just, he didn't look happy to me. He looked a little bit distraught. He just looked a little bit off. And maybe it was because of the loss. Maybe he's still feeling the effects of the loss. I don't know, because usually with football players, they get over the loss in 24 hours. They get over it. But I don't know. It. Marlon, Marlon Humphrey just looked off to me. I ain't trying to make something out of nothing. But to me, in my opinion, he just did not look happy. He did not look like everything was right um, and I know, too, of course, the, the Raiders it said that they filing something with the league against the Ravens, um, saying that the Ravens were doing a lot of dirty hits uh, on Hunter Renfro. Um, so how true that is, I, I, I'm not sure about the dirty hits, about them filing the report. That's true. But about the dirty hits, who knows? Um, I did see a clip of one of them from Marlon Humphrey. And I looked and I was like, that's. That's the one? Is that one of them? Because it's, it's, it's said that the Raiders, they compiled a, a video. So they did some little editing. So they Ra Raiders must have uploaded it to their YouTube channel. They probably put it on private so only them in the, the league could see it. But they did some editing, put it on their YouTube channel or whatever. And it was like, look, Raj. Look, Raj. These Ravens, these boys play dirty. They play dirty. We need something to happen. Give us some justice. Give us something. Give us something to just make us feel better. They didn't want to just take the win. They, they said, no, we, we, we are not letting this go. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, he talked about uh, Marlon Humphrey. He also talked about how the Chiefs, they, they've been getting their number. They got the Ravens number right now. Um, but they, they welcome uh, the challenge. And, of course, Lamar, he spoke as well. Um, he talked about how Mark Andrews, he had like three people on him. But they're still going to find a way to get it done. They're going to find a way to get it done, to get Mark Andrews involved in one would hope. Because, yeah, that's Mark Andrews. Uh, I know Lamar, he was like, man, he's like, when they found out about his deal, then maybe that's why they, like, took him out the game like that. Nah, they have been doing this before. Before he even got paid. Before he was even a thought that he was going to get paid. This has been a thing uh, with Mark Andrews. So, hopefully, we could just find a way to fix it, man. Hopefully. Um, Lamar also talked about Sammy Watkins and Hollywood, how good that they played uh, on Monday night. I keep wanting to say Sunday so bad because I'm just so used to Sunday, but how good they played on Monday night. Um, and he said with Sammy, they were already throwing and stuff. He said with Hollywood, he didn't really get to have him too much during like training camp and stuff. But obviously they they have a connection. So, I mean, all the training camp and stuff would have helped even more. But yeah, they they're they're pretty solid, I would say. Um, he talked about uh, Tyson Williams, too, uh, and just the, the different running backs back there. Uh, despite them being there for a short amount of time, um, 
He said he said there was just there was a few little slip ups, there was a few little hiccups. Um, the one with him and Tyson, it was, it was the fumble, and then um, he didn't talk about the pass where he was leading him and Tyson stopped. But uh, yeah, just Lamar didn't um, he didn't say anything too crazy, to any anything too uh, noteworthy, anything like that. Um, it was just a lot of just just a lot of basic talk today. Um, he also brought up how this game against the Kansas City Chiefs that's coming up. He, he, a lot of people like to make it about Lamar versus Mahomes. Uh, and he said that's not what it is. He said it's it's about the, the, the Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And that's it. And while that is true, and that's technically right, you're right, Lamar. It's more fun to say quarterback versus quarterback, man. It's so much more fun. Especially these two quarterbacks. These two quarterbacks are the leaders of their team. They are just the headliners. They got the spotlight, They and they make some crazy stuff happen every week. So it's more fun to say Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes. It's, 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 but now um, Lamar was saying, hey, yeah, they, they done had our number. <laughs> they, they done got us. So hopefully this Sunday night uh, we could turn it around. And that's the thing. They're, they're going to have to, man. They, if, if, they want, if they even want a shot at beating Kansas City. Well, they got they got to come out there perfect. Uh, somebody asked, I think it was Jamison Hensley asked if, if there's any added pressure uh, on having to go blow for blow with the Chiefs, match score for score with the Chiefs. And Lamar said, we we want to we want to score every drive. We want to score every drive. So no, there's no added pressure. And I was thinking like like yeah like that question was I I understand the question, but at the same time it's like yeah of course like what offense what NFL offense. Wouldn't want to score every time they get the ball. What are you gonna want to go out there and oh, you know what? Let's let's get a drive. Let's take some time off the clock. Should we get a first down? Mm, I don't know, man. Y'all feeling like a first down right now? Nah, let's try to punt the ball. No, of course they want to score. That's their job. At the end of the day, when you're playing football, your job is to score more points than the other team. And if you can make it easy, like the Ravens have done for a lot of games. Minus the Chiefs. <laughs> Boy. But if you can make it easy on yourself and really score every time that you get the ball, oh boy. You'll have your quarterback sitting out in all these fourth quarters and whatnot. It'll be a beautiful thing. But anyway. <laughs> Ravens, they still uh they still have two open roster spots right now. Um and, and we got to think that uh like we've been saying, Le'Veon Bell is gonna be one of them. How far away from football shape he is, I have no clue. But then you got to think, too, what's happening with Devontae Freeman? Not that the Ravens are obligated to add him to the active roster right away. But one would think with Le'Veon Bell, he was the one that they signed first to the practice squad. So you would think that he would have a priority over a Devontae Freeman. Um, but I just I don't know the status of him. Now, Trenton Cannon, he got claimed by the 49ers. So Trent Cannon, I was thinking like, okay, because the move just did not make sense to me at all. And I know a lot of y'all said the same thing. The move just didn't make any sense to you. But with Trent Cannon, um, I was thinking like, okay, if the, the Ravens cut him from the active roster, all right, I, I don't understand that, but okay. So maybe they just want him to go back to practice squad. Even though if they promote Le'Veon Bell, you know, Le'Veon Bell, not a special teamer. And then I know some of y'all were saying, oh, maybe Tyson, he would go back. He would get demoted and then... He would be the special teamer, but um, I don't know, man. I don't know what these Ravens are going to do. Two more spots left. Presumably one of, the, one of them is for Le'Veon Bell. For the other one, don't know. Could they get another offensive lineman? Because I don't think they are too uh, – they keep bringing him back now. So Andre Smith, they, they keep bringing him back. Maybe it's because he's been around the team for a couple of years because I believe they first – they initially signed Andre Smith right before the, uh, the Titans playoff game. In, after the 2019 season. So I think that, that's right when they signed Andre Smith. So he's been around the team for a while now. So maybe that's why they keep bringing him back because he's super familiar. But they also keep cutting him too. So I, I really just don't feel like the Ravens are so fond of Andre Smith to where they, they're not afraid to lose him. But I think they just keep bringing him back because he's a, a safe option as just in case. So that's that. But um, as far as Seymour... Seymour, uh, I don't know anything about his game. I have to look it up. But them bringing him in to the practice squad 
uh, that lets us know that because I, I think they said Chris Westry, he was hurt. So the fact that they actually signed the guy, it lets us know, hey, either he could be out for a little while. And especially since they signed him to the practice squad and not the active roster. I would think that Chris Westry, whatever his injury is, it isn't too serious, but it's serious enough to where he could miss a little bit of time. Ain't he went to your mouth? Hopefully it's none. Hopefully they're just being extra precautious, but we'll see. Um, another thing with Tyree Phillips, which I was like, okay, let's go. This was great news. Tyree Phillips got put on short-term injury reserve. We didn't know which type of injury reserve Tyree Phillips was on. We just knew he was obviously on injury reserve, but they said it's short-term. So what that means is that his season is not over. He has to miss at least the next three games, but at least it's not the next 16. And after seeing him grab his leg, like I, after everything that we've been through, Justice Hill, Marcus Peters, Gus Edwards, Jimmy Smith, Marlon Humphrey, J.K. Dobbins, L.J. Ford. Um, I know I'm missing somebody. I Oh, Nick Boyle, uh, Rashad Bateman, Miles Boykin. Um, there's been more, too. But after we've been through so many injuries, obviously a lot of those are a lot worse than some others. But I had just really been expecting the worst. Hoping for the best, of course, but I had just really been expecting the worst. Especially since they brought the card out. But the fact that the Ravens... I put in Tyree Phillips on short-term injury reserve. I said, whoa, okay, let's go. I like, I, I can get with that. So that means that the, that, that the other Ty Ty, because Tyson, that's Ty Ty. Now, y'all y'all remember from Monday night, Tyson is Ty Ty. He got that. That's his. But I'm a, I guess I call him Big Phil or something like that. Anyway, Big Phil, he can come back this year. And that's very encouraging. and It's just very nice to hear. And it's a change of a tune because we're so used to just seeing a guy get hurt and then boom, his year's over. Boom, season's done. Injury reserve, but not short term. But to hear that, I'm happy for him, happy for the Ravens that they, they lose him for a little bit, but they still keep him for the long haul. And you're certainly going to... Need as many bodies as you can for the long haul because this is a very physical sport. And for some reason, the Ravens just keep getting hit with just all of this craziness. Anyway, um, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We got some great questions from subscribers coming up over the next couple of days. So y'all keep your eyes and your ears open for that. Um, I appreciate you all supporting. Shout out to all the new team, keep it clean patrons. Shout out to all the old ones as well. Thank you for continuing to support um y'all just y'all don't know what it means man but it does mean a lot it means a whole lot uh that y'all are willing uh to support on here like you do uh we may not always agree on stuff we may not always have the same viewpoints on stuff you may think something that i'm saying is outlandish and it's crazy and it doesn't make any sense that's fine again all i care about is respect from me to you you to me us to each other Every, that's that's it that's the only thing that matters to me that's it also do understand that you, you may not even like my style. That's fine. It's not everything is for everybody. And that's something that I want to leave y'all with as we get out of here. Not everything is for everybody. You go around, you try to please everybody. Trust me, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You can never please everybody. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just a thing. You can't please everybody. No matter what you do, it's always going to be somebody that's like, oh, I ain't give me a no matter what. So just keep that in mind with whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you do. Just make sure you have fun with it and you put your all into it. Appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. We out.